Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Louisville Cardinals. Hey, it's going to be a good old-fashioned rivalry tonight. Two teams with nothing to prove except to each other. They would like nothing more than embarrass each other so that there wouldn't be any second guessing as to which team is the king of college basketball. That's right, Dick. Sparks have really been flying ever since word of this matchup hit the papers. The Cardinals should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Let's take a look at that last basket. Bed the low block. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Can't get the shot. The ball was heading south. This is swarming defense. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Jump hook from the low post. And he missed Inside. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Shepard is emotionally fired. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. Shows patience waiting for the reset. On the inside. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. And in and out. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Inside. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Pressure's getting to him. Abrams handles the pass. Goes up for two. Definitely a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He rejects it. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He'll regroup the offense. Darling handles the feed. 
McCarty has got the fans roaring and applauding. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Steele on the dribble gives it up. Darling receives the ball. He shoots from the baseline. He's money with the shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Shepard receives the pass. Up and inside. Unloads a three. He shows the sweet touch. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. Strips the ball. They get out on the break. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. They'll work it around the arc. He looks for three. Buried it. Hey, tell me, we got a replay ready for that one, Brad? Pushing that basketball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. On the outside. Wide open for the shot. On the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. Pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Moving it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, doesn't go. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
They work the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He draws a foul. Aaron, I don't think it's quite as close as everybody had expected. And from your viewpoint over there behind the benches, what's it look like? Brad, it's very unusual to have one team winning by so many points in a rivalry game. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Thanks, Aaron. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, MBN. Gave it up. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He lets it go. Louisville are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. the rejection. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And they get the turnover. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Steele, go up the other way. Get a layup. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He shoots from outside. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Here's a double team. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Roll it back, fellas. The Cardinals have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes a three, drains the shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. He shoots from the top of the circle. Abrams shows his range. Fakes a jumper. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestle. He takes it away. The ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He drains the bucket. Freedom Hall 
was going mad. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. He uses the shot fake. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. There's the fake. He strokes it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. Tries to get the D to bite. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Goes up for two. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. Scorches the net. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Number 54 with the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And back they come the other way. And a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with the right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. The group goes to the line for the first time. Routine. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Got the shot if he wants it. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Control of the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts up the tray. He drains it. On the dribble, gives it up. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Nice fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Stolen away. Fakes it. Thinks about the shot. He goes with a baby hook. Kentucky are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. High post screen. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. And the ball goes out of play. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no.
Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. He wants a three. Great shot. Cue up the replay, fellas. Now they work it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The Cardinals are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They work it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus. Blocks the shot. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Will take the shot. He hits it. basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. Full court pass. For two, you betcha. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He blocks the shot. Step out on that screener. They push it up on the break. He hammers it home. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Oh, we got to replay that one. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Two for one opportunity. There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And a momentary look from three point land. He couldn't get it to fall. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. From left of the circle, he gets the shot to fall. Throws up the prayer, way off target. At halftime, the Cardinals lead by three. Well, let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Louisville 
really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Dick, you start off the second half, and those first few minutes are so important. You've always told me that. Well, it's important to stay close, and you want to be able to come down and make some defensive stops. That's essential. You've got to play on the defensive side. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They're right on top of that pass. Too physical. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Fakes the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Looking around the perimeter. Terrell handles the feed. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Stolen ball. It's a fast break possibility. Puts it up, looking for contact. You are being used as a launching pad. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. On the inside, a high screen. Freedom Hall is going mad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He bombs from outside. Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He got the bucket and the foul. Hey, the foul in the act couldn't stop him, baby. He wanted that bucket. He'll go to the line. Makes the shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Good job defensively. He hacked him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? to the free throw line. 
Gets it. Both free throws go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. A lot of pressure on that basketball. That's their key to their defense. Pressure the ball, deny the wings. Has a nice look at the basket. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Looking for contact. He drains the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. It doesn't go. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Wildcats are ahead by five. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and you can utilize that drop step. It's like a reverse pivot move. He is going to the line. Makes the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. The hall has reached extreme levels. These fans are ecstatic. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Foot and, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Shooter spotting up on a three. Goes in. That's a seven nothing run. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. Dump it inside. You can't be that aggressive. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up.
He goes to the line for the first time. That's a nylon in the end. That's a 10 0 run. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Stop and pop. That was nice. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Up and inside. There's the pick. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Louisville have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. For the bucket, and off the mark. Can't get the shot to drop. Gave it up. There was no doubt about that one. The Cardinals lead by six. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. From beyond the arc. That's good. On the dribble, gives it up. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He gets the bucket to fall. The Cardinals are up by seven. They work it around the perimeter. From three-point land. Sinks it. Oh, big-time screen set on the defender. Looking to move it around the perimeter from three-point range. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, pull the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. 
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Top of the circle, makes it. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two, and the ball goes out of play. Aaron, I think you can feel the crowd's reaction to this game. Good first half, and this rivalry matchup stayed that way here in the second half. Just as expected, rivals refuse to back down from each other, and it's obvious here today. Bragging rights are definitely on the line tonight, guys. Thanks, Aaron. They're working around the perimeter. Fires away. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Nice shot. Intercepted. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Jumped in front to take it away with a quarterback pass. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst of from shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Hard foul. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. He steps up to the line. It's good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. It's his second. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. 3rd shot is good. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He lets it fly. He couldn't get it to fall. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. Intercepted. Dumps it in. Great defense. Shepard receives the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He posterized them. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. With the free one. It's good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. High post flashes for the ball handler. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. On the outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. 
I'll tell you, waste any time. You've got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Takes away the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of bounds. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Got the high pick. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. The small forward gets the pass. He hits the shot. On the outside, we're going to move it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He gets the bucket to fall. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. I post screen, going to use it. He gets the bucket. <laughs> Leftwich handles the pass. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He makes the shot. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the three. He drains the shot. Picked off. This should be an easy bucket. He gets it to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The hall has gone crazy. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Launches away. He buries the shot. With a long bomb. High post flashes for the opportunity. Gets it back out. In the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. perimeter they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass and we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation hey Brad many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock possession air timeout situation let's see how these coaches fare tonight For the bucket, he puts it in with contact and all. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. And we've got a whistle and a foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Gets the second. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They move it into the front court. Taken away. Gets it to go. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. Kicks it out. The small forward takes the feed. There's a double team waiting there. They call him Johnny on the spot, and that's how you keep your team in it, Dick. Hey, exactly, Brad. Plays like that motivate your team to keep fighting. timeout I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides what would assume so that makes it a two-point game Dick and the palms are starting to sweat believe me follow them early and give your team a chance oh the cheerleaders into it big time for their team they are really involved I'll tell you one thing they bring a lot of spirit well Dick what's the backcourt situation looking like to you I'll tell you play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Misses the front end of the one and one. to hit the floor and we're back to a two point game pushing that basketball he goes for three he gets it to go Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. This is the big time. Misses on the jumper from three. Dick, I don't think the fire of this rivalry is going to go out after what we saw tonight. Well, they went on the spurt, closed the gap, made the work an interesting. It was all said and done. They just didn't have enough ammunition to offset the early start. Louisville can't pull this one out. Very good game. It's always tough to lose to a team that you know you can beat. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.